I got settled in my chair. This is Anne Marie, and it's Tip Top Tuesday, and it is October first, my sister Sharon's birthday, and I already said happy birthday to her, but you guys can say happy birthday to her too. Now I'm going to invite some friends. And just, just, hi, hi. It's great that you guys are here. Thank you. Um, the topic today, as I think I've talked about, is um, vibration, the earth, and space clearing in terms of what I do. Um, and I'm glad you're here. Normally, I... I um, Kind of, kind of don't always talk about this, and so I felt it was really important. First, I'm going to start with the historic um, information about the, um, the the Earth. Historically, people have often been taught to dig a hole and put all their heavy energy into the hole, and this will help their anger, their grief, whatever it is, and the Earth will cleanse it. That has been a, a, a system for thousands and thousands of years. So also, another tradition will bury their dishes when it needs to be cleaned. People will um, talk about taking a mud bath. All of these are cleansing. We all recognize that the earth can be a very cleansing, um, nurturing environment for us. Somewhere along the line, we started not recognizing that we work with the earth. We started talking about how we walk on the earth. And ironically, that's what we've been doing, walking on the earth. In fact, we walk with the earth. If you've ever noticed how many Native American people walk. They walk differently. They walk with the earth. They're very grounded. Their feet are down. When I started first doing um, energy work 30 years ago, I was encouraged to work on the higher chakras. You know, the heart, the throat, the, the spirituality of it. The, the um, lower chakras, the base chakras, you know, the, the connecting with the earth, um, the sexual chakra, the creative chakra, and the solar plexus just connecting was not really the idea. And what I found is a lot of people ended up kind of spacing out. They'd go woo-woo to the point where they would like to stay in that higher vibration. It's, it's almost like a drug. It was almost like a drug. Now, that was never me. So I, um, I can do that pretty good naturally. So we're, we're going to try to stay with groundedness. So what I ended up doing was I um, started studying with Native American people because I wanted to know what they thought about it. And they took into account, I don't, can't remember, I don't think they call them chakras, but they took into account all of the body systems. Um, and... The, I, that resonated with me. They did a lot of dancing. They, they honored the animals. They honored the earth. They recognized that the earth was a partner with them in living this life. They recognized that the earth is a living organism. They recognized the value of all living things. Uh, we kind of, um, sometimes we forget that. So one of my jobs my mission, I'm going to cry because it's so close to my heart, but one of my missions is to help the earth heal. And I kind of Nancy Pansy talk about it, but I don't really come out and talk about my mission because it seems kind of spiritual hokey, but it's not spiritual hokey. It's exactly what needs to happen. And if that kid, Greta, can go and do all that stuff, and, and talk to the leaders and get, you know, called out. Well, then I guess I can get my button gear and uh, talk about my work. 
one of the reasons um, the earth is hurting is that all this heavy energy has been put into her. And it's harder for her to work. So you know as a person, when you're doing um, really fine work, you, you, you know, you're singing a song or you're dancing or you're doing a great something that you really enjoy, you naturally start to vibrate at a higher level. When you're angry or, 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 or being upset, your vibration goes way down. You can always tell in a party, for instance, if people are having a good time or a bad time, right? You can just feel it. The air is stale. It's thick sometimes with heaviness. So that happens to the earth too. The earth's vibration. I got in meditation years ago that the earth vibrates on the 18th level, um, which is phenomenal. You know, we don't do that, but the earth does. But with all this heavy energy, it's pulling, pulling the energy down. Plus, what we do, we treat the earth like an object. The earth is not an object. And we know that. So many of us have to go to nature in order to feel refreshed. And so many of us know that and we express it, but we don't go forth and stand up for her. You know, it's a very small minority of people that put money and greed before the, the, the benefit of others. Very small minority. But they're the ones that are running things. So that could be a problem. So I did this really tricky thing, although it's not that tricky. But I, so I came up with this idea of doing space clearing for everyone. In the past, people have, have sought me out when there's ghosts, when there's this, when there's, there's problems, heavy duty. I just did my own house about a month ago. And I'd never done it because it wasn't that bad. And I just did the boundaries and the property itself. And it made a huge difference. It made a huge difference in my ability to go out and be present, to, to seek out what I need in order to be visible, because it's not my easy way. And all of a sudden I thought, wow, this might be useful for other people. This might be very helpful to um, raise everyone's vibration. And so I decided to launch this program of just doing the boundaries of the property and underneath the property. And I'll be sending the details out later, but I feel like I'm doing this really as a sneaky way to get people feeling good about their property in a way that they may have forgotten. They don't know because it feels pretty good that it could be better. And I'm telling you, 18th dimension, that's pretty darn good. That feels really great. And if we given the opportunity, why wouldn't we do it, right? So I, I think about how people like to light candles. Well, think about this candle lighting your whole property. Um, does anybody, do you guys have questions? Well, it's okay. If you guys have questions later, because not everybody watches this live, let me know. And remember, the goodness of all of us and the goodness of the earth, we connect.